thank you for coming. I am Petrelli. Um, this is the channel for all things Bromptons. If you like Brompton stuff, this is the place for you. If you're new here, please consider subscribe to this ch channel. You will get more of these Brompton videos every day, for 30 days anyway, it's my commitment. So um, if you are here as a visit, thank you for coming back. Um, I value you guys a lot. Um, as you have seen from the intro, I was riding around, folding around with my jacket and pants here. Actually, it's um, short pants suit, it's like one set. I have this made uh, for special cycling event on the Brompton, so uh, it's just something special that I like to do. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video yesterday that I went out with the uh, Brompton Brisbane Club here. Um, I was uh, working till very late last night, as you can see from the uploading time. Um, I was trying to keep up with my one day per vlog. So uh, there was a little bit of mistake. I have to apologize for that. At the end of the video, uh, there was this music overlaying my voice. You couldn't hear what I was gonna say. I'm so sorry about that, but I, I couldn't upload it uh, the other time uh, because of YouTube. If I delete it, it will be all gone. I can't re-upload it again. So it is what it is. We just have to make it better on the next one. So today um, I'm gonna cover um, about the Brompton Blazer and we're going to talk about uh, some Q&A. Um, some writers had um, gave me some questions to un answer before um, and, uh, and then we're going to talk about what is going to happen tomorrow. So there's three parts here. Um, okay, let's start with the Blazer first. So I think it was on Friday, Friday last week. There was a whole load of uh, advertisement uh, media coming out from Brompton. Um, they are having this crossover with menswear designer Oliver Spencer. Oliver Spencer himself is uh, as a London-based uh, menswear the designer, of course. Uh, he went to Brompton and said, hey, I want to design a blazer over for you guys. So obviously, he wants to make something really practical. I will cut it really short for you. Basically, what happened is the blazer itself uh, had, um, I think, the best part in a way. There's a breathing vent at the back of the shoulder at the armpit area. So when you ride a bike, when you lean forward, your jacket wouldn't be like this one, like stretching until so on comfortable that one actually give you a little bit of playroom to fall for that and there are reflective uh, little stripes uh, around the core collar and at the cuffs as well which is pretty smart and the best part this is the part I like the most just like the bomb thing can fold it nicely and put it somewhere to store store it that blazer actually can float up and it comes with a bag come with a musette bag that you can fold it and put inside the musette bag and you can just sling around walk around with it which is quite handy very useful i felt but it does come with a price tag 385 pounds 385 quid is a lot of money so uh it's up to you if you guys like it go to brompton check it out i have nothing to do with it i haven't even seen a real thing i only seen the pictures online but uh, if i get if I do get to see it, I most likely would be interested as well. So, um, oh, and one more thing. Um, I have been reading around on the internet. Uh, Brompton is going to release the other, according to the source anyway, they're going to release the other special limited edition on this crossover with Oliver Spencer. Um, I am big fan of Brompton as all you guys know but I am never a big fan of like special limited editions it's just too many of them maybe I just keep I just can't buy them all but if you guys are into it it's like a red a burgundy red with a color grade on the main body it's a very neutral car color very easy to accept uh, very retro stuff if you ask me um, so check it out and hope it will be released in the market soon. Um, I'm sure a lot of people would like to get that too. Okay, so blazer done. So I will be start to covering the q and I have to change my position of the desk and I will have to pull out the bike to show you something as well. So there are three questions that I would like to answer today. So let's move over. Welcome to the help desk. Okay, this is part two 
this is where I receive questions from the comment from my IG or my Facebook, so I'm, I can try to answer it here. So actually, we collect uh, quite a few questions earlier on. Okay, so there are a few questions that I would like to give the answer to. The first one, I want to give you a full reply, but I was gathering the information, doing some researches, getting the images, trying to shoot some clips for you, but I didn't have enough time to finish it. So Legend Peanut, I want to answer you and so is some other guys asking as well. How do you function 11 speed chain on the Brompton? So um, I won't go so deep into it. I just want to say one thing here today before I answer you in full, maybe tomorrow, maybe the day after. Uh, someone has made a reply saying that you can put any chain on the Brompton, whatever speed. You can put any speed of chain onto be it a single speed, hub, three speed hub, six speed hub, whatever you like, it works. So I want to address that uh, to me, that's never been the truth. I have seen so many times people trying to do, put an 11 speed chain, put a nine speed chain onto a single speed, three speed, and a five speed hub, it never works. So what happens is this, this is one of the sparklet, the, the sparklet that you put on the three speed and the five speed hub. So uh, the three speed and the five speed hub from Stomy Archer, they were actually externally, they only have one sparklet. So uh, in the, uh, all the gearings are happening inside the, 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 the gearing hub. So what happened is, for all the single speed, if you look at all the track bikes, all the BMX and all that, they are single speed. All the single speed bikes, they have very thick, they have very thick uh, uh, spoklet. So what happened is the multi-speed chain, this is an 11-speed chain that I cut out, would never sit on this very well. They were just too wide for them to go, go inside. So let me show you here, see? The chain would just never sit inside nicely. So if you are running on a three-speed hub, five-speed hub, uh, it might be a little bit of an issue for you. This sparklet are very distinctive. You can't use this on the two-speed hub that we're having and the six-speed hub that we're having on the Brompton. These are the three bunches where the two-speed and six-speed, they are actually using the normal Shimano standard mount. So these are very di di different stuff. So you will be never able to use 11-speed chain onto three speed and six speed uh, hub. So, so you will never be able to use this 11 speed on the three speed and five speed Stormy Archer hub because of the thickness of the sparklet. Not so cool, yeah. So I wanna address this first because I feel this is a little bit off the chart and wrong. Um, I will try to cover the whole story for you um, tomorrow, or if not the day after. So I had answered you partly uh, legend peanut and then I would like to address to black magic warrior you are asking me how to convert a three speed into uh, into a single speed um, actually in conjunction to the chain issues I, I want to make that into one video because they're pretty much related so that will be down the line um, so tonight I will answer one more question which are coming from black oil um, you were asking about the Jackie Fun Bricks. So I have to get off from this desk, my little help desk, and uh, I got to show you with my bike and how you can check out where the problems are coming from and address it to the right place. All right. We are going to answer the question from Black Oil. You asked me like two, three days ago. You were saying when you pull the pull the front brake, you feel the brakes a bit jerky. A lot of the riders. Have, are having these issues, right? So when you pull the front brake, it feels the bike is like choking a little bit, a bit of jerky moment. moment. Um, usually when, when they ask me, I always tell them exactly the same thing. They are, um, in, in simple terms, there are chances that the front brake will move, right? For example, the, the bolt here, it's not tightened, it's not secure to the fork, so it will move around a little bit. And, um, the second case is the bolts at the brakes, 
the brake cat ca caliber itself, they're loose. So when they're loose, they have some free play that the, the both legs on each side can move front and back, back and forth. And um, although the Brompton brakes and many aftermarket brakes, they are quite strong. They are already quite strong, but they are still some metal. So if there are excessive amount of force being pushed into it, the metal do flex a little bit. But I'm not saying the, the, the little jerky feeling is coming from those flex. Usually it is coming from, the, from this place. I would say 95% is coming from here. So when you pull the front brake, when you pull the front brake, you feel the bike a bit jerky. It is usually coming out from the suspension. You see the suspension here? There's this little clip, right? Um, the clip doesn't mount the suspension block like tight to the frame. There's a little bit of move movement. So when you pull the brake, while the bike going forward, um, you are actually bringing the bike forward motion up a little bit. So we actually open up the, the, the gap between the suspension block and the frame a little bit. Then you feel there's a little bit of jerking movement there. So the question is whether the jerking, the jerking movement is coming from the suspension block or from the front brake. One of the easiest way to check that out is you actually go to sit on the top tube like this. So once you sit on the top tube, you're actually applying a lot of force, at least your body weight anyway. You're forcing the entire bike down. So you're closing the gap. You're closing the gap between, you're forcing the, the suspension to push into the frame. So there's no way it can come apart and give you that jerky feelings. So if you pull the front brake now while pushing the bike forward, you can feel if you still get that jerky feelings. You might still get it because the stem might flex and the brake might flex as well. But you can eliminate the options, chances of the suspension block are giving you that jerky feelings. So go onto your bike, sit on the top tube, relax yourself on it, put your hands on the handlebar, pull the front brake and try to give your bike a little bit of movement. See if you're still getting that jerky feelings. If you are on the original Brompton caliper, I'm telling you, you will get a bit anyway. They are a bit flexy, let's just say. Um, and not a lot of aftermarket one would be like 100% super stiff. Even the EE brakes that a lot of people are putting it on, they still move a little bit, just a bit. Yeah, to give you one more tip. If you are using the E, the, the roll bike cat caliper, and you're using the extender to lower the caliper towards the, the wheels, uh, that would give you a bit of uh, a room for the jerky feeling as well. So I, I always try to reduce the use of adapter. They have never been good to me anyway. So I hope I have answered you. Black oil um, on the jerky feelings. It mostly, it's coming from the suspension connected to the main main frame. So, if you take that got that part covered, that you will know where the problems are coming from. You can address it with further investigations. You have to find out where this first before you tackle it. Yeah. So, um, okay. Thank you for. Thank you. So we addressed. Um, let us say one and a bit question today. I hope I have answered you. So um, tomorrow I will, um, tomorrow we will be spending a little bit more time on answering the questions. Like I said, I would like to cover these 11 speed chain issues and the three speed converting into a single speed. I've done that once before, but I will cover the whole thing for you too tomorrow. And uh, I will be doing a ride tomorrow. I would like to bring up a challenge for you guys. See, you can do it with me tomorrow. So uh, stay tuned and um, I see you tomorrow. For the meantime, dash.